there are many people who sit there and it may be one of you you sit in your room you feel like a little field mouse you feel like you don't really count in the big scheme of things like you really don't matter because many people have enforced or reinforced that negative feeling of yours maybe someone told you why don't you just disappear we don't care about you we don't like you whatever the case may be but I want to tell you something God is looking at you. God is pulling at you. God has big plans for you. See, this is what I love about God. He takes the base things of this world and confounds the wise. He uses ordinary people. Not the polished and eloquent ordinary people that's why when they were in the upper room in the new testament and the men were standing around watching them speak in tongues during the day of pentecost when the holy spirit came on them and the cloven tongues of fire was hovering over their heads and they're speaking in other people's languages and they're like wait a minute aren't these uh, you know they people trip because they knew that the disciples were not eloquently educated. These were fishermen and herdsmen, ordinary people. And God can do the most astounding three things through people who society deems unimportant, who society says to, you don't really matter. Just sit off in the corner somewhere and stay out of our way. Not God. That's not God talking. And if you have almighty God on your side like I did, what they think matters not. Turn to God now. Stop looking at them for approval. Turn to God. You're automatically approved of through his love. Turn to God and see where he can take you and your life. God bless you as you explore your destiny in Christ.